Hello everybody, Jelsa Farmer here and welcome back to the channel. So, for this video I'm gonna share some experience uh, regards to logging with you guys. And I really hope that I can get some feedback on how you do it. You know, this game is all about sharing experience and how we do it. That's how we get better at it. Uh, when it comes to logging, there are several different ways, equipment, tools, and trailers, and <laughs> yeah, that's, it's a, what do you call it, a minefield. Uh, so I have my way of doing it. I did watch another video a couple of days ago, where I also got some tips from another uh, YouTuber, how he does it, and it opens up, uh, you know, this video here. So leave a comment downstairs if you have any good ideas how to do it. Uh, this might not be your cup of tea at all. Uh, maybe you hate logging or you know you love logging. <laughs> That's all up to you. So uh, for cutting down trees we have a lot of different options. I think I'm gonna start with just going quickly through them. And then we go into handling of logs afterwards. Uh, I'm not going to go into wood chipping. Maybe that's going to be a separate video. Who knows? So to cut down trees, we have also a whole lot of both in-game and mods. First of all, we of course have the chainsaw. And yesterday, <laughs> we got... The, not the light sword, but the light saber. This one, which also works as a chainsaw. Uh, let me see, let me take this one. Like so, for those who are big Star Wars fans. And you also have these ones. This is actually an in-game equipment, which is pretty handy if you're doing small scale. If you have a three point, uh, three point on the front, you can raise or lower it. You can also tilt it, like so, L1 and right stick. So when you cut the tree with this one, it will push the tree forward. L1 and mm, square. Oh, I missed the tree. Let's raise it up a little bit, maybe. Like so. Ah, that's a good start. <laughs> there we go. I really like the tractors are, you know, winding up. You can see the black smoke going as soon as you start the the PTO. So there we go. So that's, you know, small scale. And, you know, small scale also trailers you have a lot of. If you're starting from scratch with some small and cheap equipment. And I also learned the trick from uh, Mr. CDP himself is you know for measuring up if you have to do it manually with this guy or this guy you know first of all you just take one the top of the tree and you know you measure that this one will be okay for the <laughs> the trailer and then you can just put this along the big tree Push it to the end like so, and then just a matter of cutting like so. Now some trees are, um, what should I say, light. This one is not. Oh yeah, ooh, we can carry this one. So there we go, like so. So that's 
really basic, uh, <laughs> you know, from scratch or survival mode. Uh, you can do it like that, or if you have the money, this guy, and also we have several of these ones. These two are the in-game ones. I know we have one more also. This is my go-to recently. Uh, the Ponce Scorpion King. This will do up to 8 meters. There is a modded version of this one. And it's this guy here. Looks very similar. It is a Ponce Scorpion. But it's, uh, let's see, it's called the M, doo -doo. this one, MRF edition. It is actually cheaper than the in-game one. This is 385, and this one is 440. And you can also change colors on pff, all the yellow thing that you see. Um, yeah. And also the bigger advantage with this one if you're doing really big logging this one can cut tree down to oh let's see let's put the old help window on all the way down all the way up to 25 meters so you can get really long logs with this one while this one can only go up to 8 meters but, you know, 25 meter logs are a little bit difficult to handle. <laughs> so now we move over to handling of logs. So handling of logs, this has been my way of doing it uh, until now. Uh, you know, using the big bag lifter from the CS set pack. Uh, this is a little bit scary sometimes. <laughs> it can get a little bit wiggling. I can show you. So the CSZ big bag handler, you will need the CSZ pack. But this one uh, I use for, you know, all my handling of pallets and logs. Uh, you just have to be a little bit careful with it. So what I'm usually doing is... I try to get as close as possible to the log itself. And there we go. Now, one log is great. Two or three logs are could get you into really <laughs> trouble. So if you have a pile like this, you know, it will grab over um, many logs, but then it's only a matter of backing up and then releasing and attaching the tension belts like so you know so let's try to take three now obviously it's gonna work yeah of course <laughs> sometimes this lot the big bag handler is surprising but you know, with the weight on the back, you can get up to four logs like this. And of course, it's not wiggling. I was hoping that we will get some wiggling now. Because if you get... <laughs> Come on. Of course. Let's try these two big guys here. Oh. Now I'm going to try to get this wiggling because you're going to see how much power there are in these logs. So I actually had to change tractor. I don't know why, but now you can see this could happen. <laughs> so yeah, the big bag handler is great in its own way, but it could get a little bit wiggling. As you can see, it is <laughs> really powerful. <laughs> so don't do this. Uh, stick with one. 
then you are most likely good to go. But I don't know why it worked pretty good on the JCB. But anyway, that's the big back handler. <laughs> now, the thing I saw here a couple of days ago were a guy using this one. So I think I've missed or missed push the button here but anyway <laughs> this is the next option and uh, this is really nice this is part of the Liebherr 622 electronic pack this is a small V-loader which came with a lot of uh, tools to attach to so the easiest way to find this one is if you go into brands and then scroll over to L and Liebherr then you will get all the Liebherr mods that you have downloaded and the one, the two I have uh, in the game now is the silage fork and the brush and log fork now both of these ones actually have the same as the big bag lifter it has tension belts and this one seems a little bit more uh, what should I say, stable so to speak <laughs> so let's drive over here now how did I do this I think I went in like this let's see can we get three and then it's just a matter of you know releasing and catching them with the tension belt like so so this one I haven't had any issue with uh, you know uh, the logs going crazy <laughs> and depending on you know a trade -off is not this guy you see the height of the the arm isn't that high but to get into a trailer like, like this it's not a problem now I'm going to show you if you have a higher trailer there is an option of fixing that so to speak now over here I have the, the other one which actually is the log fork and if you get into height issues you can always use a telehandler and in between you have to use this is also a part of the CS set pack then you need to go to do, 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 if you go to telehandlers and under the CS pack you have these adapters so you have to read what's <laughs> what uh, the description is so this one is from telehandler to front loader and this one is from telehandler to V loader so this is the one I have here Like so. This one, R1 and right stick, you can close it and also have tension belts. And you know, with these ones, you can get really high up. Oop. So there shouldn't be any height issues. This works at the same. Let's see, let's just try this one. that all the way up whoa and that's what I mean the open silage fork is easier uh, at least if you're gonna use the tension belts you can always divide it like so maybe there we go and you should have a weight on the back <laughs> if you're grabbing more of these because you see it's getting a little bit wiggling 
But yeah, and as I said, the intention also with this video is to get feedback from you guys. Uh, how do you handle logs? I've got the new favorite, that's for sure, and that's the this pack here, and especially the this one, the silage fork, so to speak, and connect that to a telehandler. The I don't think we have um, adapter from. Wait a minute, do we have an adapter from front loader to V loader? I don't think so. Oh, here we go. No, front load to telehandler, front load to skidster. Ah, so we don't have. No. What's this? Translator. Let's lease that one. Let's test this. Let's drop this over here, and we'll see if we can use this with a tractor. That would be awesome. <laughs> Translator. Ooh. So, which side is this one connected? Obviously, this is not the right side. Okay. So, is this a translator to V-loaders? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> now we know. Ah, uh, bonkers. Anywho, and then also you have this one. This I've used a couple of times also, which is really nice. Uh, this is called... Let's see. The only thing about this one, uh, you can see it's facing down when you drop it off. The MS Force Technic Double Claw. This one you'll find on the Reloader tools. And the thing I like about this one, it's really wide, so to speak. It's this one. Mr. Force Technic Double Claw, which you can change the color like so. And you can extend this one. The only thing this one is uh, missing is tension belts. So this one, let's see if we can get a good angle here. This one you can open and close like so. And you can, you know, this is, has a really good tilt angle. So you can go above your logs and close it. But with this one, if you press... So he says um, L1 and R1 and right stick to the side. You can extend this like so. So do I have any logs here? Yeah. Can I get it? Let's try and close it up. You want to wiggle it and twist it at the same time. Close it, turn it, like so. So this is also a very good option if you have a V-loader. Now let's try to drop it off. Oh. <laughs> so that's that one uh, this trailer here I really like um, there are many different trailers but the reason why I like this one is that first of all it looks uh, you can change the color and so on I really like these wheels and rims uh, but you can also change the configuration on the um, the stancer, so to speak. This one is under forestry equipment. Uh, 
is these two either with dual or triple axle and as you can see now the stands are like this but then you can or stanchions you can change it like so and the reason why I like it like this instead of this is then it's much easier to come in you know in between so to speak so if we have this one you know you have a gap there in the middle to come in between like so uh, so that's really nice one um, I did drive it out there with this one I just wanted to test this one but this one or another big tractor I think is too big for this trailer and you'll see that in a moment when I connect to this one <laughs> it actually <laughs> you see it's either that this is too low but you can see it's raising up the whole trailer the back of the trailer is in mid air so this one is actually uh, it, uh, I wouldn't say too big but this one is maybe too low and there are trailer hitch on the back here so this is really nice why is everything running huh. uh, so the last option I want to show is something which I haven't used at all and uh, I have had a tip from one of my viewers to use this one this is called the Komatsu forest you know these are the ones that you drive out in the forestry you have a back bed you also have many different options of the MAN truck uh, you know with this crane the only disadvantage I would say about this one is the cranes this one you can unfold like so uh, but you know uh, the cray oh let's see let's see if we can grab one oh Let's see if we can grab the one all over there. <laughs> uh, this is spiddling, but anyway. There we go. Now uh, these, you know, are not meant to take really long logs. At least what I understand from these, because it's limited how close you can get to... Like so, maybe? So I think these are 6 meters. And these ones you also have tension belts, of course. But yeah. <laughs> so the last one, last test uh, I wanted to try out is uh, I know there's been a lot of, uh, no, a lot of, but you know, for selling logs. Does it make a huge difference if you sell it uh, long or in short pieces? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to find these two looks the similar length and diameter so I'm gonna cut one length of 10 meter and then I'm gonna cut this one in one meter length do, 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 10 of them and we're gonna try to sell them and see if we have a lot of difference so if you know already yeah, that's great I think I have an idea uh, that longer logs will pay the more but you know we'll check it out so 
Now let's test how it is uh, selling wood at different lengths. I'm just gonna do two different lengths and see the difference. I have put down a sell point. There are several of these. If you go into miscellaneous in placeables, uh, I have two or three of these. I think these are with the map. Or you can download it, at least this one, the wood selling trigger. And these are more or less the same. The only thing is that the one to the left have some extra decorations. And that's the one I have here. The only thing is that this one will not appear at the sell point list. So if you go here, I only have the sawmill which is the one over here and I did also try to uh, place the other one let's see if we can get it in now uh, this one bam so now we have another sell point but this one also does not appear in the sell point list so we don't know how much <laughs> we're gonna get paid but we will get an ID uh, this I cut down two trees so this is the bottom part of the tree 10 1 meter lengths and then I have one 10 meter length <laughs> so to speak so let's see uh, how much difference there is there should be so let's go over here go into cell wood 1720 Okay, so then let's benchmark it up against this one. Oh, I like this more and more. <laughs> So now let's see. I think we'll get. I'm guessing 2000 maybe. The other ones were 1720. Let's go over here. Bam. Whoa! 3000. Whoa, that's double the amount. Whew! I didn't know there was so much difference. Holy moly. Okay, so I always, yeah, I had an idea that longer logs will pay better, but not that much better. Of course, you know, in real life, when you cut down a tree into pieces, uh, you will lose some um, uh, wood chips here and there, but I guess the sawmill wants to have bigger logs easier for them to sell to the factories to make boards like this maybe so I think that was it for this uh, logging video I might do one with wood chips I'll just have to see so I really like if you have any comments or feedback on how you do it especially when it comes to handling the logs for cutting the logs uh, that's pretty straightforward uh, but it's you know all the options trailers that you have we don't have auto load on logs uh, console but you know we have many different trailers as long as you, you use them correctly so anyway if you liked the video hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you want to and hopefully I will see you the next time. Can we grab these by the end? Will that work? No. Oh yeah! Woo! <laughs> so there we go. This is like the... Uh, what is it called? This Scottish game. You know where well, they they run with this big log and then they you know throw it <laughs> like so. <laughs>
Anyway, thanks for watching and bye-bye.